Today we're going to see the troubleshooting of a thermodynamic trap with maintainable seat. In a thermodynamic trap, there are two types of failures. One is an open failure and the other is a closed failure. To start with the open failure, we will see whether the trap is installed in the right direction. The arrow is being followed. This will be the right trap inlet and this will be the trap discharge. The in and out will be punched on the trap inlet. Also follow the arrow direction for the trap installation. To check whether the trap is leaking, dismantle the trap. Check for any kind of deposition between the seat and the disc. If so, clean the surfaces. If any fine scratches are found on the seat and the disc, do the lapping procedure. Once lapping is done, check whether the step inside the cap is intact and not worn out. This is a maintainable seat. Check whether the gaskets, the inner and outer gaskets are not damaged and are intact. If any of the gaskets is damaged or not intact, this might result in steam leakage. If a gasket is damaged, replace the same. Once this is done, reassemble the trap. Ensure that the surface having the groove is resting on the seat. Note that these are all high pressure traps. The tightening should be done diagonally opposite. This is how you troubleshoot the open failure. Once this is done, we will see the closed failures. In a closed failure, the trap is not discharging condensate at the drown stream. To cross check that, Check the drip leg before the trap for any kind of blockages or chokes. If so, flush the drip leg. Once the drip leg is flushed, check the inbuilt strainer which is on the bottom side of the trap. Dismantle the trap. Kindly note, these are high pressure traps. Hence a special screen is used in the trap. This is called a sintered screen. Clean the screen with kerosene and high pressure air. Once the screen is cleaned, reassemble the trap. Once this is done, reinstall the trap and check the flow pattern. This is how you troubleshoot a thermodynamic.